Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. We've been talking through some more advanced concepts in LangGraph, and I want to talk today about MapReduce. So the intuition behind MapReduce is that you can take a task, break it up into smaller units, do them all concurrently, and then aggregate the results. So like, what's a practical example of this? Let's say I had a graph that I want to process on some large number of logs. You know, it could be user interactions or traces or something like that. I can take those logs and group them into batches, analyze each batch in parallel, and then somehow aggregate the results into like maybe a final summary. So that's like kind of one general example of this type of pattern. Now let's give like a toy example to just motivate this and show this working. Let's say I want to generate jokes. I get a topic from a user. I generate a list of related joke subjects from that topic because I want to generate like a, a bunch of jokes to produce some diversity. The quote unquote map step here is I generate a joke for each subject and I can do that all in parallel. So I have some list of subjects, let's say 10 subjects, produce a joke for each of them. I parallelize that operation. That's like my map step. Then the reduce step is from that resulting list of jokes, collapse that into a single best joke. So that's like kind of my reduce example. And here's like what that could look like as a kind of control flow here. So, you know, here's like an example graph. I have a topic. I have some node called generate topics uh, that will kind of fan that out to, into a set of subjects. Okay, so this is like looking at my overall state here. So it has some list of subjects, take that topic from the user, break that out into some list of subjects that I wanna generate jokes for. Now here's where a very nice trick comes into play. Within LangGraph, I can use the send API to basically take each of those subjects and send them to an independent node to generate a joke. This is like my map step. Now this is a subtle point that's actually very useful and worth reflecting on a little bit because if I tried to lay this out as a graph ahead of time, what if I want to change the number of topics that I or subjects that I generate? Like let's say this is 10 or five or three. I don't want to have to manually create all these edges in my graph. So the send is really nice because it will automatically do this for you. And we're gonna show that in code very shortly, but that's the main intuition. Send allows you to arbitrarily route a list, in this case of subjects, to some number of generate joke, in this case, generate joke nodes. Um, each one of those nodes will generate a joke. Each one of those nodes has its own little state. So basically the, you know, the subject that I send over via the send API, gets written to the state of each of this generate joke node of each one, it generates a joke. Now here's the other nice thing, those jokes just get appended to my overall state jokes list. So there we go. And then I finalize and do my reduce step to get the best joke. So that's the overall control flow. Now this falls within the overall kind of like line graph controllability features. We talked about parallelization previously. Uh, this is, you know, MapReduce, which is another kind of mode of advanced controllability. Again, we just talked about this, we're gonna use a send API, which is very convenient, we're gonna show that right now. So let's copy over some code. So here is just like a really simple, kind of setting up my prompts. So this is gonna generate my subjects. In this case, I'll, be, I'll say generate between two and five, you know, subjects related to the overall topic. Here's a joke prompt, generate a joke for each subject. And then here's the reduce prompt, you know, get the best one, okay? So this is just some boilerplate, I'll use Anthropic for this. Now here's where I'm gonna set my overall state. We talked about this before. So I have a topic from the user. I have a list of subjects that I generate. I have the jokes that I'm gonna be appending to from my map step. And then I have my final selected joke as my reduce step. So I'll go ahead and kick that off. So I've kind of done part of this graph. Okay, cool. So let's kind of go down a little bit here. And this is where I'm gonna kind of build out some of the other pieces. So we talked about, let's actually go up to the diagram so you can see it. We kind of talked about here, um, I'm going to send from that generate topics, which is right here, this list of topics, I'm going to send each of those to generate joke. Now generate joke is going to have its own little state. If this joke stays, I can define it independently. This is the subject that I'm going to get from that send operation. Okay. So this is basically what I'm going to map to this generate joke node with its own little state. It receives the subject from the send API and it generates a joke. Now it returns that the joke, basically I return a list and I write that to the overall state jokes. Now, if I go and look at my overall state, what I can see is what's really nice here. 
This jokes is a list with a reducer add. So this reducer means that I will basically append to that list as all of my mapped generate joke nodes right to it. So that's really nice. So basically I have this overall state jokes, which is a list that I can basically append to from all my independent uh, generate joke nodes in my map step. That's all that's happening here. This is where that send uh, API is called. Uh, so basically you can see I'm gonna send to generate joke. Uh, I'm gonna send each subject from my subjects in state, which came from the generate topics, right? So generate topics wrote these subjects to state, continue to jokes, basically reads from those subjects, sends each of those to generate joke, where the joke is generated and it is written to jokes. Each of those jokes is just appended as a list of jokes. And then I pick the best joke. That's it. Draw my graph out. Cool. So you can see this conditional edge basically represents that send operation. This is actually very nice. I didn't have to enumerate, oh, I have to create N specific edges to N generate joke nodes. This handles that, that kind of map step for me. So this is extremely convenient because uh, obviously it'd be very painful to have to like create in this case, maybe five or three different generate joke nodes with each of the edges defined explicitly by me, the user, right? I don't wanna to have to do all that work. So this handles it all for you. Now let's just kick this off. We can run, let's generate, generate jokes about animals. So there's my topics, cool. It runs four times, generate a joke about each one, it picks the best joke and we're done. That's it. So again, MapReduce is a really general, convenient way to parallelize operations. It can be used for things like kind of parallel log processing, uh, or really anything that you can break up into a bunch of subtasks and just do them all concurrently. It's a really nice way to speed up operation. And what's really convenient about this is I don't have to kind of enumerate all those uh, kind of connections in my graph explicitly. Like let's say I had you know a large number of logs. I wanted to break those up into 20 different steps. I definitely don't want to have to create a graph that has 20 edges to you know 20 different uh, you know, perform analysis nodes. So what's super convenient is this send API let automates all that for me. So this is really useful. I encourage you to play with it. So I just want to interject briefly to show that Langsmith interacts really nicely with LangGraph. So again, we have a graph. Um, we have generated topics. We have gone ahead and generated a joke for each topic. And we've run a reduced step to pick the best one. Now we can go over to Langsmith and look at this. So here's basically the graph laid out with each step here. So generate topics. We can go ahead and look at the LLM call in here. So generate concept separate list of topics, again, related to animals. Here's our topic list. Then we can actually go into each joke step and investigate the generation itself. So again, we can kind of look at an anthropic call, generate joke about penguins. And then we go ahead and generate the joke. So, you know, we can look at each one of these, these uh, particular steps. And again, this is kind of the map step where you generate the topic list. We map that out, generate a joke for each topic. And these are all those individual joke steps right here. And then again, we pick the best joke. So we can look at the LM call here. So this is pretty cool. Below, we here's a bunch of jokes about animals. Select the best one, return the idea of the best. Here's the four jokes. Here's the best one. And then we take that ID and you know use it to fish out the final joke. So again, it's actually really nice to go into Langsmith and investigate uh, what's happening under the hood with LangGraph. Uh, and this is just a good example of it showing the topic generation step, the map step where we fan out, produce four jokes, one for each topic, and then the reduce step where we actually boil those down into a selected best joke. And it's actually really nice to be able to look at each step in detail.